How many videos can a person make in a week? It looks like I'm making a lot. So it is a Thursday night. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this little mouth. Did you hear my little mouth? Get him out. Get him, get him. He was yelling at me. You might be able to hear him because he, he's a crab baby. Um, so it's Thursday night. I'm super tired. I got off work, went grocery shopping, came home, cooked, did all the dishes. And everything's in stowaway. Stowaway? Not stowaway. Tupperware. Not Tupperware. But you know, Tupperware-ish. Uh, containers so that I can just put lids on it and put it in the fridge when everybody's done eating. Because I do buffet a lot. Style. I'm like, if it's all on the counter, I'm like, just get what you want. Because I put leftovers up there as well. And like today we had mashed potatoes with I uh, made homemade gravy and we had less leftover Salisbury steak with the gravy less for that. And then we had some chicken left over. Uh, and so I made chicken gravy for that if they so desired. And then they can mix and match. And of course, I always have a, I had uh, grapes, apples, bananas, and oranges. So they can always eat fruit if they wanted to. So, um, today's Thursday. Nan's Next Nuts came out and she picked number tres, 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 three. So she picked number three. And you probably can hear my son. He was doing, he was going outside doing a whole bunch of yard work for me. And three is the most amazing color ever. It's called apricot. And uh, the apricot one, oops, upside down. <laughs> this was the first week. This is the second week. I'll work on it either tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know when yet. But this is my color. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Look at that. It's apricot. So this is going to go right here. Look how beautiful that's going to be. Isn't that going to be gorgeous? And then I have white. So, you know, I only have the four colors. Um, I don't have an extra, although Cheryl was was telling me, she goes, you should get an extra. You know, one of the, the extras, like if we get to a repeat, you just use that one instead. So it's not an actual color. It's just like an extra, just in case. But it's going to look super gorgeous. I know it is. I know it is. I'm very excited to do that this weekend. And I am... Digging a Nance Next Knots hosted by uh, Mama Swift, Trisha. Uh, because I can do that in, a, in maybe an hour, maybe two. It gives me a lot of time to relax. And uh, yeah, I really like it. The second thing I do up here is when I'm done with Nance Next Knots, which takes me a day, and I come up here, I have a couple of blankets in the works. So one of them is another account blanket and it's just super simple so this is where i'm at right now so i just wanted to show you since since i'm showing you nan's next knots every week uh, i'll show you the progress of my brick blanket so i'm working on red right now there is going to be a pattern it's not going to you're not going to be able to see it until it gets a lot bigger uh, but this is something that i really really love it is on both sides and i'm thinking about doing a tutorial for this because it is so lovely it is so wonderful it is so squishy i Adore it. And you know, I got a boatload of ice yards in. So, you know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. I have a pack of some really beautiful yarn. I have, it came, it, it's two, three packs. So, altogether, I have four white with a little kind of a sparkly thread. Not really, like a satiny thread. It's really cute. And two pink. So, what I was thinking was the pink could actually be the mortar and the white could be the brick. How cute would that be? Um, so I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking hard. I'm thinking super hard about that. Anyway. So you're wondering why I tagged Roaming with Rover in here. Because I'm going to kill her. That's why. I'm going to kill her. That's why. So she is not going to be posting lately. It's because I flew my hiney out to Washington and killed her. For two reasons. One. Look what I did. Do you see what that is? That is, and I want to do a blanket out of this one too. Oh my God. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Um, so I cut off bits. It's, it's a, a little mug rug, but I don't think my little sides are, it didn't do well, but it'll work for my coffee and whatever drink I have. Um, I could have used a smaller hook. I thought I used a small hook. I used a 4.5. My hook fell on the floor. It's over there. I actually use a four. It's a G, not a G plus. G is a six, not a seven. So I used a four 
And this is comfy cotton, which I took the ball bands off, but ooh, I used these two colors of comfy cotton. So it's 50-50. I think, I don't know where the ball bands went, but it's partly cotton. And so I made a teeny tiny little mug ring. Do you love it? It's going to be my um, thumbnail, so. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah, that's how I make my thumbnail. I take a picture of, you know, a screenshot of what I need to do. But I really, really like it. So it is the uh, Apache Tears. On the back, it looks just kind of like a stripe. But it being variegated, it really turned out really well. This is only maybe four inches by six inches. Pretty much my phone. <laughs> it's my phone. <laughs> it's my phone. Um... I, I, I can't stop looking at it. It turned out really, really well. It turned out really well. And I can smell. My yarn smells so good. Oh, well, I could use it as a hanky, too. <laughs> it's really good. Thank you, Robin. So, it was a long, let me just say it was a long live, though. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, but it was really fun. So, I wrapped up a couple of these. And uh, they pretty they go a long way. I love them so much. I mean, like to bits and pieces. So I wrapped it up. Oh, let me get out. And you know you've seen this because hmm, if you waited till the very end of the video. So I wrapped this as three. And I started working on a shells blanket. Not a whole lot of counting. I mean, counting to seven is an easy thing to do. And so I've started working on a shells blanket. It's going to be a rectangle blanket. And the way the colors, the rainbow is working up, it's really nice. And I used a teeny tiny hook. It is a 3.5. A 3.5. So and this is, a, you know, it, because the yarn is so thin, I use my finger bonnet. Y'all know I have a finger bonnet, right? Because my fingers. <laughs> I don't like it. And something, like I didn't use the finger bonnet for the, the, um, the mug rug, because I was, okay, so we're going to talk about the mug rug here in a minute as soon as I can get this figured out. We're going to talk about the mug rug. Because I want to let you know the problems that I had with the mug rug. One, it wasn't very difficult to cut the yarn. It was super simple. Once you get past the first several rows, it's it comes naturally. It's just like, clip, 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 clip. And I had, a tr I had trouble at the end because when I tie something off, I chain two and then tie it off to make it more secure this one requires a chain one and i was like oh no that thing's gonna fall apart it's gonna fall apart and i'm so glad i only chained one because let me tell you what because right about there i was like something's wrong i've got too many stitches that i counted you're supposed to have 20 on this one and i'm like one two three four five 19 what ha ah! So I took the little ends because I only do the chain one, so you can able you're able to like pull them out. I had to pull like one, two. I had to pull a couple rows out. I had to pull a couple rows out. So what I ended up doing was I put a stitch marker in the very first one. So the end rows are basically the border rows. So these don't count with your pattern. It's like border. Do your pattern. Finish with border. And uh, I missed a, the border a couple of times because sometimes, because I, it'll get tight when you, when I crochet, it gets tight. And I'm like, oh, I missed it. I missed it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's okay. Anyway, so that's why I had to have that out. Now this is so thin. It's not thin. It's a three. It's not even a thin three. It's just a beautiful three. It's a beautiful three. But I make what's called finger bonnets. And it fits over my finger. So this yarn will not touch me. And, uh. And then I make all these little honey bunnies. And this this is a very simple pattern. As a matter of fact, I got this pattern from Jana Martinez. Go to her channel. She has really great tutorials. Uh, lots of shells. I'm just, now that I have this in my hand, it's, it's so wonderful. It has the feel of cotton, but so much nicer. It's so light and so airy. And, I'll, and I, it's probably going to make it ginormous. I mean, like, ginormous. Uh, this is something I'm going to work on, uh, but... To be fair, I really, uh, this is in the background because it's nice to have an extra project, but I, <laughs> cause you knew I was gonna, you knew I was gonna, um, because this is this like, okay, 
that mosaic, which I really, 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 really want to do a big old blanket. I bought a pattern, but I want to be more comfortable with, I don't know how to read it. They showed us how to crochet it, but they didn't show us how to read the pattern. Sort of, kind of, but no, they didn't. And, uh, and I love you, Robin, so much, but by hour two, I was done. So, sorry. Um, and that's when I, and she may have showed you the pattern. I just, like, like I said, hour two, I was done. Um, I, I got my little pattern and I ran. I ran for the hills. I ran for the hills. So. I don't know how to read one and it looks so complicated but I know it's so easy I, I went and looked and there's a tutorial on how to read it and it's got these little X's and the blanks and then the different colors but the colors don't matter the colors I don't even know why the colors even on the damn chart I don't know why they're on the chart because I'm just I don't understand because it says a B one two one th and I just like why do you why do you even color them don't even color them because if they're colored then they're the color you're working on, but if they're white and you're working on color B, it is, and I'm going to get it. It's going to take me a minute. It's going to take me a minute to get it. Just a minute. Yeah. So this weekend, hopefully next week, next night's not, so it'll be Thursday night like this because, you know, I'm a single mom and I got stuff to do. And school starts. <laughs> school, 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 school starts next week. Um... Which I am not unhappy about, just to let you know. I am not unhappy. They will be happy when school starts. I'm not doing any more crochet tonight. I'm done. I'm tired. And I still have crap to do. But you can't tell me that this isn't court. I might do a rope. I might do a couple of those of this. <laughs> I might. Because it's so dang pretty. It's so dang pretty. I mean, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that so dang pretty? I mean, this is using my super saver. Uh, well, not really. I'm going to have a lot left over, I think. But, but I mean, I could do this all day long. All day. And I'm going to try real hard not to start the pink and white one with a little ribbon going through it. Oh, my God. I'm going to try real hard. I'm going to focus on this. Nan's next knots. I'm not going to focus on that. That is just when I feel like doing it. This I just love this so much. I can't even tell you how much. I just love it to bits and pieces. Anyway, now that's in my hand, I'll probably do a couple, even though I should be laying down on the bed. I just want to say again, Robin, it's, it's easier than I thought. I didn't have any troubles cutting the ends off. Obviously, I cut them too short. Um, And it was, I was like getting ready to find a needle. I'm like, I gotta find a needle. I gotta find a needle. I gotta find, because I just can't stand it. They gotta be, they gotta be sewn in. So you need to show me how to do the border so I can like hide them. Okay. Hide them. I need to hide them. Is grandma coming up? No. Oh, you're just coming up. Yeah. And is Gloria coming up too? No. Oh, I thought she was coming up. Because my girl is like me. She's nonstop talk. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Thank you. I just love it to bits and pieces. And I like actually the two color combination. Uh, the one with variegated and one with solid. Uh, so I'm going to try to, I'm not going to use this, although I could because it's cotton, it's wonderful, and I got gobs of it, and I can make it like, but I'm not. I want to make a blanket out of this so bad. I, and, you know, I was like, oh, everybody knows how to, everybody does their patch of tears, but I just didn't realize how wonderful it actually is, the pattern. It's really wonderful. I really, really love it. I'm going to start talking now. It is uh, Thursday night for me. I'm not going to upload anything till tomorrow. Um... I am looking at my beautiful ice yarn just all the time, all the time, looking at my beautiful... Hey, Jake, could you get me the um, package of ice yarn that is on the bed? I think it's the bulky... It says like seven of them in there. Jelvo. Jelvo? You're not German, son. Jelvo. Oh, my gosh. It's so late. My alarm's going off. I didn't know it was that late. Do you see it? So, as you guys know, I got ice yarns, and I am not a bulky fan. I'm just not a bulky fan. So... I have seven of these. Two of them are variegated. Whoa, this is way heavier than this is. I mean, this is like super gobs heavy. Let me get my mug rug. Put it right there. Okay. All right, let's see. I think I looked at this yesterday. I, I, yeah, it's blank. So there's nothing on there. It's more than 100 grams. I can tell just by the feel of it. It doesn't have any information. It's, it feels like acrylic. It is very nice. 
I can't really smell it. It doesn't smell like anything. But I have five of these bad boys. Two of these bad boys. And I am doing a bless out box. Who do I want you to watch? Who do I want you to watch? No, I have a girl. Her name is, did I bless her out already? I'm not sure if I blessed her out. She's an Iowa girl like me. Did I bless her out? I'm pretty sure I blessed her out. But even if I didn't, we're going to bless her out again because I don't remember. Nothing. I don't remember. And it's been a while since I've done a bless out box. So uh, if you could do me a solid, uh, write down in the comments, uh, I don't know, something about the mosaic. So if the word mosaic has is in there, then that would be great. So that's how I'll pick a winner. Um, just like, just like a comment about mosaic and, uh, I will know that you want this bad boy. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love it to be some pieces, except I'm not really a bulky fan. I like thicker yarns, but not this bulky. Um, I won't use it. I just won't. Uh, so let's bless out Shannon Talks Yarn. Shannon Talks Yarn. She's an Iowa girl. And I'm going to link her channel. It'll be the very first uh, thing in the description. And if I remember to pin a comment, it will be pinned at the top. It'll be pinned at the top. So you can see Shannon. Go click. And you will be able to see her. And you don't even have to tell her I sent you. Just give her a quick like. Throw some DNA on that subscribe button of hers. Uh, and that would be really, really great. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> Y'all have a good rest of your night. A great weekend. And we'll probably see you on Sunday. I don't know when. To be fair, I'm tired. I have to work some. Oh, you know what? You smile big and often. And I'll catch you later. Probably tomorrow. You never know. Because I've been making some videos lately. And that little girl's coming upstairs making all kinds of noise. We got to go. I'll see you later.